the sky part like the rest See the world is nervous I saw the sun cry and bleed Oh, the world is getting nervous I saw my best friend become my enemy Oh, I'm nervous But everything ain't what it's supposed to be You should be nervous I trust no man on face, value, name, or reputation. These are years in my face that came with education. The last of the thinkers have all but died out of row. Studied the beast up close from inside out. From the streets we came, confused, abused creatures suspended in the ether. Students without a teacher, gangs without a leader, aloof as to how we free the mind without the body should mobility stop. It just kills me how the game simply came and went. Yes, I'm guilty for still looking for my name in print. I spent a while out in the whatnots, the joke's on me. I even smiled in my mugshot to catch the moment. How much confusion have oppressors produced this year? The blind know not the difference between truth and fear. As with all things, one day I'll be gone from here. But not before I tell the world that John is here. I remembered the studio sessions of listening to the playbacks of my voice. I'm thinking to myself, man, it sounds like crap. Like, I don't even sound believable. Like, what am I doing? I felt like a fraud. I did not like the sound of my singing voice because I knew in my heart of hearts that I lacked control. You know, as a rapper, I, I learned how to project. So, you know, most, well, at least from back in the days, rappers would hold a mic and they'd cuff the mic. Sound man, turn my mic up. And the sound man is terrified. And he's sitting there like, if I turn your mic up anymore, it's going to be feedback. So I, I kind of sat back and was like, well, I don't want feedback, you know, because I was in the audience for years before I ever got to the stage. So I learned how to project my voice into the microphone without cuffing it in order to get the sound that I wanted. So every time we were in a, a sort of open mic or freestyle session, um, somebody would say, man, John, pass me your mic. Like, your mic is the good mic. But it wasn't that my mic was the good mic. It was just that I wasn't cuffing the mic and... <laughs> so then when asked to sing in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, a studio where I didn't have that same projection with my singing voice, it was always, please, t uh, so, uh, engineer, can you, can you turn my mic up? Because I've, I've got a soft singing voice. Um... I often pondered at night as to how well she knew me. So when I heard my voice initially, I, I couldn't stand it. I, I, I cringed. Um, and the interesting thing was, I heard my voice again when I was in the Federal Detention Center in Houston, Texas, talking about my new album coming out to my celly one day. And, uh, and I remember banging on, on one of our lockers. It was, we were locked in already, it was past 10 o'clock. And I said, well, I have this song called um, uh, Reunion. <laughs> we reminisced on the days and as young men, we found our places and all. And even after all of your warnings, we still Managed to meet with harm. So I was talking about all of the, you know, like our, our mentors and our family members telling us, you know, do the right thing, do the right thing. And throughout all that, we still fell, you know. And he was just like, man, man you got to sing that again. You know, I was like, you like it? He said, man, what? Man, that's, man, that's us right there. And then the next morning when, 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 our, when, our, when our cells opened up, he called in, uh, other friends about, yo, Bobby, yo, yo, come in here, man. Yo, check out this song that John just... So I was like, okay. And... I, we're in a concrete cell. So the acoustics in the cell gave me the right amount of reverb where my voice wasn't dry. And perhaps ironically enough, I felt protected. I felt more sure of myself in that cell singing than I did in a, a, you know, a million dollar vocal booth. 